in May. Now, here is part of what Mrs. Murphy had to say. If that letter or that phone call could bring my son back, I would run from here on foot to Washington, D.C. to get that letter. But right now, it really doesn't matter who did the greatest thing. What matters right now is that people remember my job. This is what happens when people or young people go over there to fight for a country that they love so much. We're the aftermath. We're the casualties of war. It's not really about whether or not a person may have called or did something more than the previous one. It's about what are you doing now to help those who are left behind, who have to struggle day to day. Mrs. Murphy urging all of us to focus on what we're doing now, because that's what matters. And I got to tell you, we have heard from a lot of you since the interview, including Paul Rakoff, who heads Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America, who sent us here at the beat this new message. Hey, everybody, Paul Rakoff, CEO and founder of IABA, the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. Um, we got a great question. How can people help in this chaotic time? Uh, IABA has got a lot of great resources on our website. Go to IABA.org backslash gold star uh, and we can get you informed and get you engaged and there's lots of ways to help. And I'm also joined by a true American hero, Bonnie Carroll. She's the uh, founder and CEO of TAPS, Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors, really the best organization in the world for gold star families. Um, what do you think folks should do, Bonnie? Well, TAPS provides hope, help, and healing for all those grieving the death of a military loved one. Please visit TAPS.org, check out the support that we offer, and uh, know that America honors those served and sacrificed. Thanks, Paul, for your support and for everything IABA has done for Gold Star families. Thank you. We're all in this together. Thanks, everybody. The organization there is TAPS, Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors. To help TAPS, you go to TAPS.org or their social pages. I can also tell you Mrs. Murphy responded to a lot of the people reaching out, writing on our Facebook page, quote, thank you. It was very hard to do, but I felt our story needed to be heard. I'm truly humbled by all of the kind and understanding comments. We, of course, are humbled by her courage and her family's service. We're happy in one small way to share her message to so many of you, because we've heard from a lot of you uh, about that interview. Thank you.